Hey guys, what's up Taurus? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future. The situation. Any obstacle in your way. Or obstacles. And the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. Damn. He's working hard for a lot of stability, a lot of love there. All right, so anyways, keep in mind, the energies can go both ways. It could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. So flip-flop it how you need to. Also, keep in mind, this is a general reading. So take what's yours. Leave the rest behind. This does resonate with you today. Please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Alright, Also, if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. Alright, Taurus, let's see what's coming up. There's that Wheel of Fortune, so um, divine timing, good luck on your side. Yeah, there's a tower. Something's changing. Possibly in a really good way. Alright. Let's see what's going on. Make sure messages are there. All right, you need a future for Taurus. There's that double Capricorn energy. One more for Taurus. Thank you. All right, you're working hard on something, like I said, because we're ending with the Eight of Pentacles, and it doesn't have to be work, could be work, but you could be dealing with a Capricorn, and there's possibly some type of reconciliation here. Somebody is very attracted to you, and when I said change, you could be dealing with the um, Aries Leo Sag, but it's like, you're, you're on the go right now, like, somebody is like, got you in their radar definitely could be a reconciliation someone from your past but with the tower and the wheel of fortune things are definitely like changing up so with the devil card there this could be a capricorn that you're dealing with it could be like an ex some type of there it is somebody who let you down um maybe somebody who had some regrets here but it's definitely someone you know from your past or it could be a situation um it doesn't have to be yeah, see the magician, damn. Okay, the magician and the empress. The empress is your energy. Somebody is, is like, um, uh, there's that wheel of fortune. This is possibly somebody who was, who was given it to people or dividing their time and energy. But with the judgment card there, somebody is coming back around. You are incredibly powerful right now with the magician. Like, this is an ex, someone who hurt you before, um, Magician and the devil is there. So just be leery. It could be somebody who is bouncing back and forth, third party situation, or they just broke your heart. It could have been some type of, um, you know, like situation in the past. Because the devil is there. So I definitely feel like this is somebody, you know, or a situation that you've dealt with more than once. Um, with the magician there, besides your energy though, you're very, like, powerful. You have, like, um, manifestor abilities right now but with that devil right there too you know just just be mindful of what's going on make sure you see everything around you because the six of cups this is somebody from your past could be like a childhood friend this could be someone that you have kids with just somebody from your past showing back up but the situation before in some way was toxic show me this three of cups for Taurus, please this is reconciliation it could be dating um, but with the Empress there and the Five of Cups, like, this person definitely sees you as someone long-term. All right, so the Three of Cups and the Seven of Cups with the Two of Pentacles, it could have been someone, you know, who had a lot going on. Or possibly you. But see, yeah, damn. You have the Nine and the Ten of Pentacles. So, with the, and the, um, the Chariot, the Eight of Pentacles. So, there's an opportunity here, Right. But with the Nine and Ten of Pentacles, it's like you became very independent, especially with the Empress there. You became very independent on your own, like able to hold your ground. You're building up a lot of stability here, whether it's work-related or um, or relationship-wise. Because we have love and we have work. So we have a solid opportunity here. You could have multiple people trying to come at you um, as well with the Seven of Cups. But 
it just more so feels like with the nine and ten of pentacles like there could be a reconciliation but you're really coming up you really built like a foundation a lot of stability for yourself so with the chariot card you could be dealing with a cancer but that's things moving forward so the opportunity is there and there's a lot of independent stability but also like long term behind it you've really worked on yourself and came forward like with the chariot there like um getting that balance like within yourself within your money within your world here but there's this person um what is what is the ace of pentacles and that's what you're manifesting because you're the empress here so you're manifesting this new opportunity and it built it brings you a lot of stability like the um the three of cups can be like a reason to celebrate things like that um it could be dating because this could be a card of singles and just getting out there and having fun but there's also that opportunity tell me about this ace of pentacles for Taurus. i've seen the four of cups when i was talking so i mean sorry the four of swords so it could be somebody kind of from your past like i said that um You haven't spoke to in a while sorry that king of pentacles Taurus, virgo capricorn energy it really doesn't I'm just going to tell you, there's someone that you have a lot of love for, right? But somewhere along the lines, um, either there were money issues or somebody kind of got ghosted. So it's like you've definitely worked on yourself here and came to a place or you're coming to a place with the King of Pentacles and Nine and Ten, like a lot of abundance, very stable energy, um, very hard working, but you're, you're abundant on top of it. Yeah, see the Ten of Wands, you've been working your ass off. Show me this Eight of Pentacles for Taurus. So you're manifesting the you can pretty much manifest what you want right now. But work-wise, career-wise, it really looks like shit. Things are um, I can't take all those. Are um are working out. Thank you. All right, so Libra energy there with the justice card. You also could be dealing with a legal situation. In which case there may be a reason to celebrate the moon, Pisces energy. So you could be putting in the work on something here or you just don't see it yet. Yeah, the two of swords. It's possible that you may not see it. It could be hidden from you right now. But at the end of the day, you're working hard on something um, on that, uh, on something that's like uh, trying to get these scales even. What is the moon? You're putting in the work and even especially work projects, whatever you're doing right now, that's really going to pay off. What is the moon? Because the moon is about things that are hidden, that are unseen. Okay, so the King of Cups and the Eight of, Eight of Wands. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. But this is all about the King of Emotions, right? Somebody who, who you have emotions for, you know, may have been a little toxic in the past here. So the Two of Swords, though, don't cut off your intuition. Because um, that'll kind of make things come to a crossroads when you're trying to balance them. So make sure you're seeing everything for what it is, like I said. But there's some type of communication coming. Um, and things moving forward. You have two eights there. Eights are about change and um, movement. So things are definitely moving. Some type of communication coming in. I keep seeing that eight of cups. Why the two of swords? Because we started, and you may have, okay, I could go a couple of ways. You may have a um, a choice between several people with the Seven of Cups, and that could kind of be the temptation. So at the beginning, we start with the Two of Pentacles. Somebody kind of um, up in the air, weighing their options, maybe have choices, decisions. So there is communication coming, and you could work with this person, but it's things trying to balance. But at the end of it, we end up at this crossroads. So it's like this choice not being made. Whatever this choice is that you need to make or that someone needs to make, I don't feel like it's a huge thing because like you're incredibly independent on your own here. But with the five of swords popping out, you know, somebody could, that's the card of wanting to win at all costs. So, but it can also kind of just be, um, you know, a little stubbornness there too like not really coming forward or you know kind of blocking off that intuition but there is okay see the two of wands and the fool these are kind of um overall the same meaning it's, it's going forward optimistically that path is there but this goes back to that choice 
see you see a future but you have to make that choice so with the fool here and the five of swords you may kind of go against the grain here or someone because it's kind of like the fool can sometimes be rebellious and with the five of swords you know a little bit hard-headed a little bit stubborn so um don't just nosedive into anything don't cut off your intuition here look at the whole picture um whether good or bad because you know some may miss this opportunity because of letdown in the past so like with the five of cups make sure you're looking at the whole picture whether like i said good or bad so you do have that devil there and you've been busting your ass here making a lot of stability for yourself so at the end of the day you're still putting in work on something balanced but it's almost like something you know maybe you're refusing to acknowledge or this person but um, or this decision that you're you're trying to make. So sometimes this devil can be self-sabotage. So just see things for what they are. Do not cut off your intuition and think things through. Don't just um, leap. Just based off the cards we have here. Because it's almost like, yeah, see, with the Hermit Virgo energy, it's almost like somebody is refusing to see something or just make a decision. And it doesn't have to be between two people. It could just be somebody who's wishy-washy or kind of unsure, not really coming to that decision. But it's definitely a decision card's choices all over the way. But with this Ace of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, that is your energy. But there's an off, there's there's one of these avenues that's going to take you to a lot of stability here. And one may be like something, you know, more toxic or um, I don't know, something like that with that devil, like something that was trying to hinder you. So the high priestess, intuition, intuition, trust your inner self, your gut, see things for what they are. But you're working very hard and things are balancing out. It's actually a really good reading. Just um communication coming and it could be work related but we don't have the page of pentacles so this is definitely love related somebody from your past and then it, it kind of forced you to like build yourself up here and you did that you did a good job on that so don't cut out this intuition all right Taurus. i hope this helped i hope this resonated communication is coming um yeah the knight of wands and the sun so there could be an age difference it could have been a player it could just be that you're moving forward you know very quickly towards your happiness but at the end of the day like i said it makes you incredibly happy you've been waiting for it All right, Taurus, I hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. All right, you guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.